Steve Kim for UCN, and here with the WBC boss, Mauricio Suleiman. Mauricio, the question I think people want to know the most in relationship to your organization, is there a fight between your heavyweight champion, Bermain Stavern, and his mandatory challenger, Deontay Wilder? 100%. It's on. It's on. There's a deal. They have agreed on the terms. We're waiting a couple of days just to get the exact date and site. But I have been uh, sure that there's a, by both camps, that there's a deal. So, Mauricio, in recent months, there has been a movement by certain factions to almost dump belts, get rid of the mandatories, ignore purse bids. Did that development alarm you? Not really, because uh, our responsibility is to make sure that the rules are uh, followed. Mm -hmm. When there's a mandatory fight, uh, we set a time so they can have free negotiations. Mm -hmm. If there is no agreement, then they go to a purse bid. Mm -hmm. When both sides are negotiating in good faith, and when both sides request more, more time, additional time to negotiate, mm -hmm. we extend it, and we participate and we mediate so the best deal is done for the fighters. Mm -hmm. So the case with uh, Garcia and Postol came to successful negotiations, and this with Wilder and uh, Steven. Um, the WBC only tries to make the best uh, for the fighters, and the best fights, the mandatory fights are supposed to be the best fights on the division, mm -hmm. so that's what we're trying. And uh, we see there's movement. There's okay. moving around and there's concern. But I think we have a very firm position. Mar Mauricio, uh, regarding the Danny Garcia situation, he gets a step-aside fee given to Postal. D all indications are that Danny Garcia may move up in weight, though. Um, my question is this. Do you believe that Danny Garcia, in this case, is interested in a unification bout at that point? Unfortunately, we cannot rule on uh, perception or... Um, how do you call uh, and, uh, uh, rumors? Mm -hmm. We have to rule on facts. Mm -hmm. And uh, Postol reached an agreement. He signed an agreement, which he made a uh, very good money for stepping aside, and uh, allows him to have a fight, mm -hmm. and also a guarantee that mm -hmm. he's gonna fight the next time with a with a champion, whoever the champion is. Mm -hmm. So the Postol rights are guaranteed. Okay. Danny Garcia, we don't know if he's fighting a unification or he's going to defend a voluntary defense or he's going to move up. We don't know that. We have an agreement in which he has one fight that he can do because Postol agreed and then the winner has to fight Postol. Uh, regarding the WBC, there is some business going on here this weekend. Marco Antonio Rubio is the WBC interim champion. Golovkin has a WBA and IBO belt. Now, putting all of that aside, the winner of this bout, what is their position as it relates to your WBC champion, Miguel Cotto, down the line? Okay, Miguel Cotto was, uh, when he defeated Martinez, he was granted a voluntary defense. Mm -hmm. So he was going to fight in December, but then he decided he's going to fight May 5th. Whoever he fights, the winner will fight the winner of uh, this Saturday night. Or they have the option to dump the belt, correct? Well, if you want to use that word, dump the belt... <laughs> Well, you know, I know that's very sensitive with the WBC based on history. I say vacate the title, I think, is a better term for you, Mauricio. Well, only Riddick Bo yeah. dumped the belt. Yeah. And if you, spoke, if you speak to him right now, he will tell you it was not him. Mm -hmm. It was people telling him to do such a move not to fight Lennox Lewis. Yeah. And by the way, that was Rock Newman. I know he's too much of a gentleman <laughs> to say it. Uh, Mauricio, as it relates to your personal situation, I know your father passed away and you took over the reins. What's it like being the head man in charge now at the WBC? Well, it is, I don't feel I'm the head man. I, I just feel I am the son of Jose Sulaiman. I wake up every morning and try to find uh, motivation to go out and, and do what I did so long with my father, being with him. I go to bed trying to feel that I did the good thing that day. Um, I miss him so much. But every day I get, uh, the, being in the boxing world, I get to remember him and people remember him. So it is a, a difficult process because uh, our, my personal feeling, my personal uh, grief uh, has not been able to cure. Mm. And I have to go out and do like I put on a face and be the president of the WBC. I don't feel I'm, the, I'm just uh, doing what I like uh, all for my father. Uh, with that being said, Marisa, where do you think you contrast the most with Jose Suleiman as the leader of this organization? Well, I don't know. Uh, I just followed him, mm -hmm. and he left a good path. I, my values are to do whatever can be done to make boxing safer, mm -hmm. 
to try to mediate, to have the right decisions to take place. Decisions many times are not popular. Mm -hmm. And I understand the fans and I understand the media. There are many concerns. Uh, when my father passed away, one of the first calls I received was uh, Mr. Mendoza. Mm -hmm. And uh, Daryl Peoples went to the funeral. Mm -hmm. And that's, I thought, this time to sit down and try to get the organizations to do something to address what the public wants. Mm -hmm. The sport is for the fans, otherwise there's no sport. Mm -hmm. There's issues with uh, media, with television, with promoters, with managers, with trainers. And uh, all, we're just trying to address and, and keep continue going forward. Female boxing is a reality mm -hmm. and I, I trust it's going to be a major uh, line of sport in the U.S. in the coming years. So there are many things that I'm just trying to follow. My father left a lot of, uh, okay. of work. All right, thank you. That's Mauricio Suleiman, head of the WBC. It's Steve Kim for UCN.